Hey, what's up guys? Kyle Jones, Jones Sport Fishing, and uh, it is Monday the 13th of June, and this is your weekly Clearwater Steelhead Report, or uh, Spring Chinook Report. Hey, you can uh, see behind me, Clearwater is huge. It's huge. Hey, uh, it uh, definitely blew out this weekend, um, although it's, uh, it's on the drop, and if you can see across the way, yeah, that doesn't look good, but there's a pretty good slick of clear water coming out of the North Fork. So with that said, the river has peaked um, and it's dropping. I'm going to say that I'd be willing to be back on it on Wednesday. I think it'll be really, really good. Um, fishing was just lights out last week. I mean, lights out. Some of the best we've seen in a really, really long time. I mean, we're getting fish on eggs. Divers and eggs have been really the key, but I also got fish fishing bobbers, um, bobbers and eggs, doing some different things. This was spot. So I mean, fishing was was on fire before this happened. So as soon as we can get back on it safely, I think it's gonna be on fire and it's gonna be that way until we catch enough of these fish to close it. Um, with that said, we, we really didn't see much harvest over the weekend when usually there is a lot of harvest. So. I mean, it'll be interesting to see what fishing games numbers are the next couple of days, but I got a feeling we're going to be fishing probably for at least another two weeks here. Um, so that'd be perfect for us because uh, July 1st, we're on the upper Columbia, but man, if we can get 10, 20, 10, 12, 14 more days out of this, I mean, I think that's absolutely superb. So we're excited. This water is going to go down. Fish is going to get really good. And uh, we're going to finish up the back half of our spring Chinook season in style. But, um, I talked earlier about I there's some things I watch when I'm deciding when I'm gonna get back on. The big two things I watch, big three things, is I look at the at the river flows on the Locksaw, the Selway, and the South Fork. And as soon as those rivers have peaked and are dropping, this thing clears up really, really fast. It can go nuts so and then in the next couple in the two days it can be back to fishing. So and with the North Fork blowing clear water, um, there, there's there's going to be some opportunity to catch some fish here as long as I mean as long as we're not dodging a whole bunch of logs and stuff and it's just flat out unsafe to be out there um, fishing fish is going to be really really good so um, like I said I'll post uh, I'll throw some screenshots in here of what the what I mean by the by the river peaking on the South Fork Selway and Locksaw usually those are the things I look at and as soon as I see those those rivers peaking and dropping I'm back on the water but uh, anyway guys. I appreciate you watching these, and uh, we'll see you guys out there. God bless. We'll catch you later. Bye.